Yo, 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 it's your boy Weiss the Tech here to bring you another one of my personal favorite tech tips to help you as an artist grow in your craft. Now, today we're going to be going over should you release an album, all right? So if you're a recording artist who's currently considering releasing an album, then this is the perfect video for you because in this video, I'm going to explain the different reasons why it may not be ideal to release an album especially if you're a beginning recording artist all right now before i continue i definitely want to let you guys know about my free music business tool that's available on my website right now for free download all right this is basically a music business checklist for any one of you guys who is looking into leaving your nine to five job so that you can do music full time myself by starting your own business, all right? If you don't know exactly how to actually start your own music business, then definitely download this because with this, it'll give you three things that you could do right away to start your own music business, okay? So of course, you could click on the link above, all right, it'll take you straight to my site where you could download it for free and I'll also leave the link in the descriptions below, all right? So now, when it comes to this whole album situation, I'll be honest with you guys, it's one of my most asked questions, especially when I'm dealing with independent artists, all right? I always get to ask the question, or I always hear the question, do you think I should release an album? And if so, when I should release it? Well, I'm gonna answer this video the same way I answer to them, and that answer is always, it depends, all right? Now, what I mean by that is because there are certain factors that you definitely have to incorporate before you can even consider releasing an album. And in this video, I'm gonna explain those different things. That way, if this is something that you are considering, you can at least factor these into the equation when it comes to whether you are actually gonna release it or not, all right? So the first thing you wanna ask yourself when it comes to this album, especially if you're a beginning recording artist, I'm not speaking to those of you guys who are well-established, already have your fan base and are pretty big or getting up there. I'm speaking specifically to beginning recording artists because most of my content is geared to helping the beginning artists, all right? So if you're a beginning artist, the first question you wanna ask yourself when it comes to releasing that album is, do you wanna release it for the art or do you actually want to make a profit out of this album? This is a very, very important question because depending on how you answer that question will really determine whether you should release that album or not. And this is what I mean. If you just want to release an album for the art, just to say that you released an album, just to have something out there and say, I have accomplished releasing an album, then go for it. All right. Because if you're just doing it for the art, you don't really care about how much you make off of it. You don't really care about how much you spend on it. You're not coming at it with the same mindset or the same understanding as you would if you're actually making a profit out of it, all right? Now, if you are releasing an album with the intentions of actually making a profit out of it, then there are a number of things that you could that you absolutely have to consider, but I'm only gonna really talk about the three most important things, all right? So if you are looking into releasing an album to make it a profit, the first thing that you have to ask yourself is, is your fan base big enough, all right? Because if your fan base isn't big enough, it would not make sense to release an album, all right? Having a big fan base is really what drives an album. When your fan base is big enough, you know that there's a certain number of people who will purchase the album and listen to the entirety of the album. But if your fan base isn't big enough, it's going to be very, very difficult to get the numbers and the pay that you want or the revenue that you can get from that album because it's simply too much content for somebody to absorb unless they're your absolute true fans, all right? I mean, I currently know people right now who are big fans of Kendrick Lamar or Drake or J. Cole, and they still haven't listened to their whole albums, right? Because it takes a lot for an individual to listen to an entire album. Fans listen to singles, right? If you're there and you're a general fan and they generally like your music, they'll listen to your single. To get them to listen to your album, they have to be a whole different type of fan. They have to be a true fan. They, they have to be someone who's literally listening to the whole album because they support you and they really just want to show you that they care and that they listen. 
it's very, very difficult, especially in this day and age, for somebody to listen to an entire album. We're living in the singles era. People like singles, they like hearing that quick song so that they can move on to the next one. They like hearing that song that they can connect to their TikTok or that they can add to their social media. But a lot of people aren't out there listening to an entire album unless there is a true, true fan, right? So if you don't have the fan base that you believe that is gonna be big enough to listen to this whole album in its entirety, then I would strongly, strongly advise you to hold off on that album keep releasing singles till you could build your fan base big enough to actually support the album when it comes out so that's the first thing you guys want to consider you want to consider is your fan base big enough all right now the second thing that you want to consider when it comes to releasing an album is do you actually have the marketing budget to actually promote an album all right Pro the budget that is required to promote an album is far greater than it is to promote a single, all right? When you're dealing with the single, at most you're dealing with the single, getting a single on different platforms, um, spending money on, you know, playlisting or whatever, however you want to actually get people to listen to your music. You spend money on the single music video, this, that, and the third, but there's a certain amount that you can have for a single, like let's say $1,000, for example. With $1,000, you could do you could do a lot of promoting for a single. $1,000 for an album, however, is not enough at all. For an album, you need much, much more because again, you are trying to convince people that this entire body of work is worth listening to. So an album is going to require so much more marketing, so much more budget to the marketing to get people to listen to it. I mean, when it comes to having merch, when it comes to just press tours and press releases and interviews, there's so many things that you have to do in order to really promote and market an album successfully. And in order to do that, you need to have a budget for it. So if if you don't have the budget to actually market an album then i strongly strongly advise against it now it's not just the marketing as well if you really think about it you also need the budget to actually create an album all right it's easy to go to the studio pay for a studio session make one song and then get that one song mixed and mastered but to do that for a whole body of work to do that for let's say nine songs for example to get in there and record all nine songs if you want features to get features on it and then to get that whole project mixed and mastered just off of the production of the album alone is going to cost you more than a single all right so when it comes to releasing an album you have to have an album type budget all right do you actually have the budget to make an album market an album and release an album so that's a very very big factor especially for a beginning artist because again most beginning artists don't have the budget most beginning artists are working a nine to five job and that nine to five job is there to support however you're living your your rent you know your car note whatever the case may be you most people don't have just a lump sum amount that they could just throw at marketing and making their album easily so if you don't have the budget for it i would strongly strongly against uh strongly um vote against actually releasing an album until you can actually save up enough for it you could always save up enough for it and plan it out accordingly like in two years i'm going to release an album so i'm going to be saving up some money from now until then so you could actually market it the right way things like that that's perfectly fine but if you don't have the budget to release an album then that's the second thing that you strongly have to consider all right now the third and final thing that you have to consider when it comes to releasing an album is how is the, that album going to affect your quality as far as the independent artist all right how are people are going to view you once that album release once the album is out there it's out there one of the biggest and most important things for artists to have is a debut album the first album that they release a lot of artists have lost their careers because they didn't put out a strong debut album all right having a debut album is a big thing and it requires a lot of work a lot of effort i'm not talking about a mixtape i'm not talking about an ep we're talking about an album all right an album is a different level that's you literally putting your step on it and say this is my first 
debut album all right if you do not if you do not have the quality in your music right now if you don't have the production talent if you don't have enough people to help you with this album and you decide to release this album really by yourself and things like that you're kind of setting yourself up for failure because when that day comes let's say you release an album and then you follow up with an amazing single People who hear that single is gonna go back and they're gonna see, okay, oh my gosh, she has an album. Let me go listen to that album. If that album doesn't measure up to that single, then you're gonna lose them as a fan. They may just like that song and move on. We see plenty of one hit wonders. The reason they're one hit wonders is because when it came time for them to follow up with a great album, most of them didn't. Or when it was time for them to release their second single or keep the pace going, they were unable to do so which is why they have become one hit wonders. So you really have to ask yourself, is this album going to set a standard? Is this album going to, when people listen to this album, will they say that I belong? When people listen to this album, will they say, oh, it doesn't sound quality? Will they say that you're not really at that level yet? Or will they say that you belong? Your music sounds just as good as everybody else's music. I loved your debut album. That's a very, very important thing because that's literally like showing, you know, you, know, you have one chance to have a first impression. That's one of those moments. It's easy to have a bad single. You can have a bad single, follow up with a great one. People can forget that, that other single very, very easily. But when you're talking about album, when you're talking about nine to 15 songs, theoretically, and you release that and people are unhappy from it, it's very, very difficult to recover from if that album didn't hit the way it's supposed to hit. And part of it hitting the right way is making sure the quality is right, having the financing for the budget and the other factors that I mentioned earlier, all right? So it's not that I'm against you releasing an album. If you, if you factor all of these things in and you set up the right marketing plan, you have the right marketing budget, you have the right engineers, producers, and features, and you have all of those set in place to actually release a good album, to release a good product, to actually make a make a um, living off of it, to actually make money off of it, then go for it. Go for it. You got what you need, go for it. I believe you'll be successful. But if you're just starting out and you don't have any of those things or you're lacking in any of those areas, wait. Wait until you can get your music right. Wait until you can find your sound. Wait till you have the right budget for it. Wait till you have the right production team. Wait till you have the right marketing team. And then from that point, you go ahead and release that, all right? But again, this is all with the caveat of you are actually releasing the album for business sake to actually make money off of it, all right? If you're just doing it for the art, then hey, do it for the art. I've done things simply for the art, not expecting a penny from it. All right, if you just wanna do it for your the art, that's beautiful because I know a lot of artists who just release music for the art. You know, they just release music for the fan base that they have just for people to, to understand that they love music, they like music, and they're really just doing it for the music, all right? If that's the case, hey, I, I'm with you as well. I love that for you as well. But again, if you're trying to, if, this, if you want this album to elevate your status when it comes to where you're standing right now in your music career, then you have to have those things in place first before you could do so, all right? But that's essentially it. I pray that one day I'll be able to put together, you know, a video where I could kind of just highlight what you can consider or what you can do to plan to actually create a successful album. I'm sure that'll come one day, but as of right now, I don't have that. I know the things that you should do or that you can do. I just haven't made a video yet. So stay tuned for that. When I do make that video, I'll of course leave the link in the comments of this video, all right? But that's pretty much it, guys. That's how I feel about albums for beginning artists. Again, this is specifically for beginning artists. If you have any questions, you can leave comments in the comment section below because I'm here to help you as an independent artist. Also, if you're looking into putting yourself in a position to leave your nine to five job so that you can do music full-time like myself, then I strongly, strongly urge you to grab my ebook here, The 13 Steps to Jumpstart Your Music Business, because in this ebook, I highlight the 13 steps that I took to put myself in a position to leave my nine to five job so I could do music full-time, all right? So if you want to know the ways grab this ebook and it'll help you out all right but that's pretty much it guys i hope this helped when it comes to your decision making in regards to making an album and i'll see you guys next week peace I, I, I feel like
Yeah.